Hey everybody, Steven here, and for this video, I'm actually gonna be talking kind of directly to personal trainers. Anybody that is in the fitness world, um, you know the industry. I mean, it kind of comes in waves, and I, that doesn't really matter if you're working at a big, like, box chain gym, or your fitness instructor at a facility, or you're freelance like I am, right? A little bit harder if you are freelance, because everything kind of is on you, but regardless, you know the industry kind of comes in waves. I personally am on the side of like maybe started a big uh, box gym and then go freelance when you can. And once people know your name, they're going to follow you, right? If you're really, really good at what you do. But since it does come in these waves, right, <clears throat> you're going to see spikes where you're super duper busy and then you're going to have these lows. Uh, right now, just me personally, I mean, my clientele is medium. It's kind of teetering more on the lighter side and I got about maybe close to 20 clients. I've had upwards of about 50, 55 before where I was putting in 12, 16 hour days and uh, those can be really, really rough. Anybody else that's trained that long, right, consecutively um, knows that it gets tiring, right? You get burned out on it. So you do kind of appreciate those little lulls that you get so that you can kind of take a step back, recuperate and, and kind of get back to it. Um, I also train seven days a week. Um, now it's not horrible on the weekends. I'm only training like maybe one to four clients on Saturday and anywhere from two to four on Sunday. And that's my own personal thing that I do. I know there are a lot of trainers that like kind of the weekend is sacred. They don't want to take that time, but I want to provide a service where they can kind of depend on me uh, for the weekends if they need to. Cause some clients I train work nights and I'm not going to stay up super late. So like the weekend is really the only day that they're going to be able to come and see me. But when you get these lulls, I want to implore you to create content. Um, I'm a huge fan of Gary Vaynerchuk and anybody else that follows him. I mean, he's all about content, right? And if it's good, it'll, right? You'll get more views if it's good, but you also got to be patient with it. And I like his consistent message of being patient with that. On my end with it, it's not only just playing that game of being patient with it, but I also think, like, <clears throat> what's the intent of it, right? Are, are you trying to... Um, get to people that you can't get to training wise like are you trying to sell something are you trying to uh, kind of reverse engineer which is what Gary Vaynerchuk talks about and I'll put a link for anybody that doesn't know Gary V are you trying to kind of reverse engineer getting to a certain point where you are like almost like a YouTube celebrity type um, and talking about fitness uh, maybe you're trying to meet and follow a niche if you t look at Tim Ferriss I mean he talks about niches are deep now right I mean, CrossFit is considered a niche, but like there are a lot of CrossFit gyms. There's a lot of people that do CrossFit, right? Just like bodybuilding, okay? So, um, but for me personally, what it, this kind of started out with was, and, I, and I'm going to kind of suggest that you do the same or at least use it as a starting platform, which is uh, helping your clients. I make a lot of these videos that I do on here, right, as kind of the guide for my clients because a lot of times you say, hey man, uh, here's your homework, right? <clears throat> you got, uh, and I'm a medical exercise professional, so maybe it's post rehab stuff is what we call it, right? Here's some exercises for your lumbar disc problems that you have going on. I want you to do this as your homework two days a week um, and you write it out for them and then they come back, they're like, ah, I forgot. Like I couldn't remember and I didn't want to bother you, so I just didn't know what to do that's where my videos kind of start, right? I want to get the video directly to those people. Here are the bread and butter things that I want you to do. Here are your stretching routines that I want you to do. Use that as the platform because then you're not having to write a ton of stuff out. You can just send them the link for the video, especially if you have clients and everybody's gonna have a client at some point that's gonna travel or something like that, right? Send them the video, there you go. So start there and it's easier that way. A lot of times I do meet trainers like, ah, I don't know what I talk about, I don't know what I do. like. Talk about what you know. Talk about the things that are going to help your clients, right? Some of my videos are super long, and I had one guy comment, and he was like, oh, man, it's good stuff, but it's way too long. I was like, well, I'm not trying to get to you. I'm trying to get to the person that does want a very, very deep understanding of this so they can kind of work on it and flesh it out for themselves. It's just this, it's the same way I talk to my clients, right? I get you in there, we talk about the mechanics of the squat, and we're gonna work on it repetitively, but that first time we come through, it's 20 or 30 minutes of me talking about how you hinge your hips, right? Keeping the toes flat, how we get the spine stacked, how we actually get it so that we're not 
arching our lower back or we're not rounding our shoulders, right? I want to explain all of those things in those videos. So, and it doesn't have to be that in depth, but that's kind of the niche that I'm wanting to get to. The people that do want the in-depth information that quite possibly can't even afford a tr personal trainer, right? That might be the case as well. I have a Udemy course, which is trying to get to people that don't have the money or the uh, funds to hire a personal trainer because it can be quite expensive, but they can kind of get some of those small details that you are going to get from a personal trainer where you're not just watching a video they're like all right squat they don't give you all of the cues that you need to work on that right and all the progressions and all of the scales so and i'll put a link for that as well in the description box so you can kind of look at it and see this is what he's talking about multiple platforms right put it like i have udemy i actually have the outline and i'm going to work on the second udemy course that i'm going to be doing um if you don't know what udemy is anybody that excels in a particular skill right whether that's like it could be everything from like marketing type stuff to like plumbing type stuff to maybe you want to do stuff in adobe after effects or premiere pro which i have on my computer right now for video editing they'll they have courses on there that teach you how to do that stuff uh building a video game right they, they teach you how to do that stuff on there and they're not crazy expensive my course sells for 20 bucks and a lot of times it's actually on sale for 10 right and then you do get a percentage but you have to split that with Udemy but they have the platform for that and uh, it doesn't have to be insanely detail oriented with all of that you get to create what you want maybe it's a weight loss a six or ten week weight loss program and you can create that there right and that way you are kind of spreading your information around as much as possible so main message if you have time work on some type of content and it doesn't have to be for everybody initially. Like I said, find the niche, whether that's form or diet and nutrition stuff, right? Correctives, which is a lot of stuff that I do. Maybe you actually do more of what my approach is, which is like a shotgun effect. Like I'm going to do all of it. But I'm gearing most of my videos towards my clients because they'll come in and they'll be like, oh man, I feel like I said, I need help with this or I need help with that or I forgot this. Or you see that need where they're like, I couldn't find any videos on it. I don't know anybody else that maybe is written a uh, program for somebody that's going to travel and you know they're going to need help with an exercise so you try to find a youtube video and you look at it and you're like eh, that's not how i would teach that or you see things that are wrong with it or maybe it's too complex or maybe it's too simplistic you make your video for that and you get to plug that in there right and then that content from there right those views all that other stuff that exposure is going to grow from there so that is my suggestion today if you have uh, kind of a period where you don't have as many clients, right? Focus on your content, right? I use a notebook. I write it all down. These are the things that I need to be working on. I have a long list. I do that, and then I also put it into Google Sheets, and I write out. Uh, and for me, it's about details. If I'm going to do an ankle mobility routine, I'm going to split it into multiple parts um, just because I know we talk about this in the medical exercise community. You give somebody three exercises for homework. More than that, it's confusing. It's too much. It's too daunting. They don't want to do it. So I usually try and do things in threes. Sometimes I go maybe a little couple more in terms of exercises, but I usually try to hold to that. I'll write out here the three exercises, and then I'll do are there scales and progressions for those exercises. If that's part one, that'll be the beginner version of it. And then we'll have the next one where we're going to have like the more complex version of it. And we're kind of do it in stages, right? So that they can actually see the progressions and the scales and they can improve over time, right? Also, they're not gonna do the same thing over and over and over again. And the cool thing is, in a year, two years, come back, right? Revise that. Maybe so, there's some things that you're like, eh, we don't do that as much anymore, let's talk about this, right? And you can do another video on that or here's the updated video of that, right? So there's always that opportunity to make that content. So. If you guys uh, want to see more of these videos, right, hit the subscribe button for me. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have uh, anything that you want to tell me or other videos that you want to see or questions or anything like that, do that in the comment section below for me. And uh, every now and then I'll periodically probably do another video like this documenting, right? Uh, Gary V, I love his stuff where he just talks about document your day. 
And he had one late recently where he's like, man, if I was a fitness professional, I would show like the second I got a zit or the second like I didn't have the six pack abs or something like that to show the human side of it. Because a lot of times you're just seeing these people that are crazy ripped, right? That are talking about fitness, 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 like, but show your human side as well with that, right? When you do have those downfalls and uh, kind of stumble a little bit yourself. So the hope over the next year is to kind of focus on some of that content as well just to document what I'm doing with the certifications that I'm taking, um, diet stuff that I'm doing, right? Uh, as far as my credentials, I don't talk about them a ton. I try to mention them. That way it just gives me a little bit more legitimacy for what I'm doing. Uh, I have my degree in nutrition from Oklahoma State University. I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm a medical exercise professional. Um, I'm a MoveNet certified instructor, which stands for Move Naturally, and I'll put all these links in the show notes, or the, sorry, not show notes, the uh, description box as well. Um, and I, the reason I say show notes is because we had a podcast for two and a half years, um, which we've kind of stepped back from to focus on other things, me and a, 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 my co-host for that. And uh, that's the other thing, like spread out what you're doing. I've written two children's books. We're working on a third. I found a writing partner and we created a team of people with that, but we did the podcast. I do the YouTube channel. I have a video game YouTube channel, so I do content that are there as well, right? I'm always trying to be creative in some sense. Um, but anyways, uh, moved at certified instructor, um, parkour, uh, adapt. That's the name of the certification. Um, I've done that one as well. Um, dynamic neuromuscular stabilization, I like to talk about these things. They are also very, very in-depth. I'll do certain videos for certain things, uh, but I'm gonna focus a little bit more on the individual certs and what they do, some of the skills that we learn within that, and then document more too, just the process of going through a certification. If you're a trainer and you don't have any, other than maybe like a NASM or something like that, I'm definitely gonna urge you to branch out, figure out what you want your practice to be, what exactly, do you want to mold it into, shape it into? The, the stuff that I've chosen, I've specifically sought out and I picked them for um, very, very specific reasons. And it's helped my practice a ton with how I look at clients, with how I interact with them, how the sessions go, all of that. So like I said, uh, work on the content, ask questions. I can definitely, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll do the best I can to answer that. And if I can't, just like with, if somebody is a client of mine and they have a question, I don't know the answer, I will direct you to someone that does. I have no uh, shame in admitting that I don't know any of that stuff. Because the last thing I want to do is provide them with the wrong answer and then look foolish later because they end up getting hurt or they find out that that's not true or something like that. So thank you guys so much for watching and work on that content for me. All right.